Hello Arrow fans and welcome to the After Buzz TV Arrow After Show. We are looking at Season 5, Episode 5, Human Target. Take aim, we will see you after the opening. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin! Yeah. <laughs> And we have a light show. Thanks to Mark Donica on the ones and twos giving us the best intro we could hope for. Thank you for joining us, you guys. We are the After Buzz TV Arrow After Show. We are looking at Season 5, Episode 5, Human Target. I enjoyed the heck out of this one. This was great. You may have noticed that we are short one Alicona tonight. She is uh, training for her next superhero gig. She will return to us at the end of November. In the meantime, you are stuck with me leading this crazy train. I'm Katie Cullen. You can find me on Twitter at Kiaje, this lovely human being. Me! I am Lex Michael. All of her social media at TheLexMichael. And I'm Tari J. Miller. You can find me at Tari J. T A U R I J A Y. And I'm Lucretia Lyon, guys. So you can always find me at L A C R E T I A L Y O N anywhere on the internet because there is only one. And we are looking at the hashtag ABTV Arrow. Unfortunately, we are short a live chat tonight because technical difficulties are a thing that occur even to good people. So we're just going to talk about this and it's going to be great. What did you guys think of this episode? I liked it. I thought there were so many laugh out loud moments uh, yes. that we literally all did laugh out loud. Felicity and the rubber all of her face doing yeah. the you have failed yes. this oh, city great. line made me cackle. I hope they didn't throw the rubber face away because I really want to see more of that throughout the season. Different characters wearing all of her face. I hope it becomes uh, Felicity's official mask when she goes out. Yes. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to be hanging around the set in different places. Like, next episode, it's hanging on one of the costumes, and the episode after that, it's just on the edge of a monitor. Or, somewhere. like, on one of the costume uh, mannequins in the cases that yeah. you stick it on. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of things you stick on your face, uh, yeah. beauty box uh, or beauty con box actually. It's a con. There are many cons, but this is a subscription box I'd that is delivered to your door each season. Each box is curated by your favorite beauty gurus. Over a hundred and fifty dollars worth of product for th only thirty dollars. You Dang. save twenty dollars if you sign up for the annual payment plan. Seriously, sign up for that. Like twenty bucks is a lot. <laughs> And with the that's animal, half a, that's half a that's half a box, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that's actually great. more than half a box. It's more than half a box. I can like, math, you guys. But yeah, with the annual payment plan, you play uh, play your pay the total cost of the entire year of boxes. With the seasonal payment plan, you pay each month for the box and shipping costs. Check out beautycon.com slash box to sign up for your subscription and use the code boxbuzz, that's B-O-X-B-U-Z-Z -Z, for 20% off your subscription. For those of you guys who are listening on iTunes, we uh, switch over to YouTube. We have this lovely visual if we can uh, switch to the wide. We have the box itself on our table with all of the lovely accoutrements that come in it and there is a NYX lip liner and a NYX ombre lipstick in there and I kind of want it like a lot. Oh yeah, and they also have like offer liquid lipstick and mocha, flutter lash, isolate lashes. Like those are really expensive, man. Yeah. And then a Jouer lip conditioner. Like all sorts of cool stuff. This yeah. just this looks wonderful, and I'm just gonna box it up and take it home with me. I yeah, know. no, I got a few of those lipsticks. Mm -hmm. They are sponsoring us tonight. They are one of the reasons that we remain on the air. So you know, if you want to support us, go and use that discount code Box Buzz. Was it? It is a Box Buzz. Yeah, yeah, Box Be Buzz, getting mm -hmm. twenty dollars off your box. And also, the other way you can keep us on the air is if you check out iTunes. If you go there, if you rate, subscribe, leave a comment, leave us a review, let us know that you like us. Our uh, our producers, I almost said our presidents. That is not the right word. That is next week. <laughs> Topical hail. Hey. Yeah. Our producers do look at those reviews, and if you leave a bunch of reviews saying, we really like the Arrow After Show, we would like it to continue, they keep us on the air. Yes, my fellow Americans, like we do. Yeah. <laughs> and that is one of our producers speaking. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want to help us out, subscribe to BeautyCon Box and go to iTunes and subscribe to us. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. We adore you all. We usually read new reviews. We don't have any new reviews this week. If we get new ones, we will read them and give you a shout out because we adore you. 
Back to rubber faces. Rubber faces? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This episode was rife with them. I adored Human Target so much. Christopher Chance. So, yeah. yeah, so, okay, so Human Target. Uh, I hear you guys at home going, Human Target, wasn't that the name of a 2010 Fox series starring Mark Valley and Jackie Earl Haley? You're right, listener and or viewer, it was. It's actually about the same character that show ran for two seasons before reaching the end of its run. But going all the way back to 1972, Action Comics number 419, this character has a history. Christopher Chance, the human target, yes. was created by Len Wein and Carmine Infantino. And this is something else that I had, I, I had no clue about until I did a little bit of research. There was also in 1990, a pilot that was produced that was never aired. They aired a version of the show, but they never aired this pilot where the character, human target, Christopher Chance, was played by Rick Springfield. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, I would have watched that show. Like, and I watched the 1990 Flash, so like 1990 could have been way cooler. So yeah, that's hmm. that was interesting, and I didn't. I really, I would like to see that pilot. Well, Rick as well. Springfield yeah. is amazing. I mean, he will be always Doctor Noah Drake to me. And we are we are talking about yes, hmm. Jesse's girl, Rick Springfield. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So is in the comics, is it the same human target? Is it the same idea that he's kind it, of a master of disguise? Yes, it is essentially what you saw tonight, where he disguises himself as a target for their protection, and it is. It's a it's a head to toe. You know, full points restoration, as Tony Stark would say. Uh, but he does inhabit, essentially inhabit the face, the skin, the persona of his client for their protection. And before I get lost and think about uh, Rick Springfield, we do have some comments in the hashtag. I wanted to bring up Alicia Perez, who uh, is on Twitter, BillieJeanGirl18, but we know her in the chat as Boo69Bs. Boo69Bs. Uh, She's like, I had no idea who the human target was, but after this episode, I freaking love him. I hope he comes back. Yeah. I am 100% down with that. Oh, my God. So, and I feel like that's the kind of character that you don't just throw out there for an episode and then walk away. It's not like Constantine where he had another show on another network. You can still use him. Do it. Well, and w <laughs> watching how well he was utilized and ultimately how incredibly helpful he was, it would seem a little nutty to me not to at least ask this dude to hang out more often. It is right. Will Travel from Jessica Jones. So, it, and we all know he's not coming was. back to that. We, <laughs> we, we talked about really briefly before we got in here. <laughs> he had that. What I said. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he had a, oh, not, no, not that part. No, because I think I missed this yeah. conversation. No, not that part. <laughs> Just, he, had a, he had a line tonight where uh, he says to Oliver, you know, I'm the last person who should be giving out dating advice. And I was like, bro, I, I saw your last on screen relationship. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely correct. You're not. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, in the House of Black and White where he got his power, uh, <laughs> you assume that he has a whole celibate. <laughs> <laughs> did we just go full Game of Thrones here? Oh, yes, is he a faceless man? Yes. All right. I don't know. He's still pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> um, and I'm just amazed I wasn't the one to bring up Constantine. Mark that down as the one time it wasn't me. <laughs> it's kind of low-hanging fruit when it comes to cameos that should come back and never will. They did to, to Along their... with the entire Suicide just Squad. <laughs> to, to be fair, though, they did finally go ahead and get themselves a magical buddy. It's not Constantine, it's it's Ragman who does these it really did. exciting things with his hands, but they finally did get a, a magicker on their team. Right. Yeah. Well, Constantine belongs with Legends as you know Malcolm's uh, male friend. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep carrying that know. torch, Lucretia. Me and you. <laughs> Told him I feel like this is another pick. after show. Yeah, that that's yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, that's okay. We're doing a four week yeah. crossover later yeah. on, so it'll be fun. Well, yeah. it's, it's gonna be it's we'll real, pick, you guys. We'll just pick twenty of us in the studio to talk about all of our episodes. It'll be perfect. <laughs> just big groups just yelling us. over other big groups, basically. <laughs> we're that's what the crossover is gonna be. So. Uh, <laughs> dude, we should just take over all four studios and just do simulcast at, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of behind uh, no, the scenes for you. <laughs> Mark going, oh God, please no. don't play this insanity. They're going to see this and demand it and we can't do it. Where's <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway. We're having so we should talk right? about the episode and more than just the rubber face. Indeed. We have Poor Renee getting tortured to hell and back, and essentially, and eventually being made to dig his own grave. And I love that he pushes the villainous monologuing button here. It's mm -hmm. like, but you're gonna kill me, you might as well tell me, I wanna know. Well, as long as you're going to die, let me tell you my He plan. does, he does like the full Bond villain thing. <laughs> he does. Which is never a good idea. Like, I don't know how, this, 
it has to happen so that we, the audience, knows what the plan is. But yes. but again, it's like, do people in fiction not have fiction? other fiction? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, has he not seen a Bond movie before? You'd think you'd think he might have seen at least one, and it didn't go well for the dude who tells Bond his entire plan and then lets him escape. But I feel like it's an ego thing. It's a little less, here, let me give you all the details, because he didn't. And it's because Rene witnessed this very key, still very much in code detail, while he was half out of his mind, having been tortured. Like, him being able to recall that is the only reason things worked out for Team Arrow. And that is the longest of shots. It's not like Church stood there and went, well, I have five different crime organizations and I'm bringing them into this runway at 4 a.m. three days after you die (laughs) and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. He didn't do the full Bond villain. It was just a little, I need the docs in this city because drugs and now you die. Also, the the you referred to him digging his own grave, and they shot it out in the woods. And obviously, we know that the production is in Vancouver. Vancouver. Mm-hmm. I can't see the Vancouver woods on film without flashing back hard to either the first five years of X Files yeah. or X Men: The Last Stand. Mm. Oh, I can't go through Why the Vancouver would you woods do without that seeing an ex boyfriend. There was some weird, so yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. so there was some weird like mood stuff happening for me in this scene because I was like, oh, the Mulder and Scully, oh, the the Phoenix thing. That's right, and the guy that shoots sticks from his hands. <laughs> Spike? Spike! Yeah. yeah. Good old no, no, Spike. Sticks. Yeah. <laughs> it's sticks from his hands. Um, he creates spikes on it. Wait, I, I watched Green X-Men Arrow? Evolution. Mm. Yeah, the guy, the guy that shoots sticks <laughs> from his hands. The green one. Shoot! Yeah. Shoot! <laughs> when, the, when the particle well, accelerator you're exploded, not wrong. the green I mean... arrow's power became <laughs> little, little wrist rocket arrows. <laughs> no, he really does shoot sticks from his hands, though. Yeah. This, this is where this... This is what happens when we take this late at night and you put me in charge. I'm picturing it like, and then we don't have live people, t- <laughs> we you know, don't putting have us live in check. Chat. I mean, they're not here to check us, so we just go insane. We do it's miss like, them. We miss you, us. live chat. Hopefully, we'll see you next I'll week. I'll be the live chat. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> the guy who's dating Felicity. <laughs> what about the mayor and politics? I'm sorry. You guys are way better than that. <laughs> but I just had this animal. Politics! Politics! <laughs> but, but, okay, but in all seriousness... It could be like the Raimi Spider-Man where he's got the organic web shooters, but he's firing arrows. <laughs> come on, Hollywood, come on. We don't have a Green Arrow movie yet. I want one. Make that one. <laughs> well, Sam Raimi, get on that, because Bruce Campbell would definitely be somebody in it. Who who we cast Bruce Campbell as? I feel the, like Sam I should Raimi? be steering this ship, but I'm too busy making popcorn and just I know. watching this like, this, this is a good oh train wreck. Oh, I would say, what? I would say if you can't, if, if Barrowman is too busy doing four shows that he's now contracted to, I'd say get yeah. Bruce Campbell to be Malcolm Merlin. I was going to say that, and that would be the only acceptable replacement for John. For sure. Because we all know how much I love Malcolm, but Bruce Campbell was my original daddy issue, so... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, on I, this, on I, this didn't side, I, okay, I, I did not realize how much I wanted that until absolutely <laughs> right now. Oh my god! So, so the other big thing that came out of Renee getting tortured to yes, hell and back is he gave up Oliver's name yeah. and he barely remembers doing it. Yeah. So this obviously is uh, an unexpected and inconvenient wrinkle. It's a good way to, to put it. Like, let's, let's, uh, I'm going to sell it a little, a little low at first. Let's call it an inconvenient low wrinkle. Wallet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Well, and I love that at the end we still have the Oliver has gone back to killing people, but he chose not to kill Church and instead chose well, to send him to prison. Like, do we but think he's not cool. going to? Yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy's like, I, tried, I beat you fair and square. There's no yeah. way you're going to snitch now. <laughs> Code of well, honor, yeah. guys. I guess the flip side of that is giving the ACU the credit. Sure. Because right. we need to be like the anti crime unit, y'all, and he just tries to kind of Will Smith it. Like, mm. hey, look. And so if he's able to do that, it works a lot better if Church isn't dead from an arrow wound, generally speaking. Yeah, Martian Madam uh, on Twitter says she's going to miss Church in the evil end. I just want to kill him myself kind of way, but I think those are the best kind of villains. And I would say Church was really one of the most entertaining villains. He was a yeah. good villain. I'm going to miss Chad Coleman's performance because I really enjoyed I could never, I never felt like I could quite put a finger on what he was doing, but yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. Well, I felt like he had a, like he had a, a menacing like street vibe. Like yes. he he like the way that he spoke 
um, was a mix between like gravelly old man, but also like yo, I'm a homeboy. Like, so it was a, a combination of those two things, which I really enjoyed. Cause he, yeah, my could... favorite moment was when he's like, yeah, we cool. And, yeah, we cool. and we cool. then I was really upset that Prometheus didn't go, yeah, we cool. And then shoot him. He had to be like, yeah, we are. Like, you couldn't just, you just do it. I mean, I could almost see Church as a Luke Cage villain. He was definitely a 1990s Flash villain because they were all gangsters. Yeah, <laughs> I I really enjoyed at the end when he's got the the brass knuckles on mm -hmm. the the totally superfluous but awesome clang the two of them together. Just yes! because I like I like that. I'm gonna miss that. That yeah. I think that moment is what I'm going to miss most <laughs> about Tobias Church. That's Someone can a make a gif out of it. King. That, that's King. a rolling for intimidation sort of moment. Yes. Like. Everyone who knows his reputation knows that when the brass knuckles come out, you're host. You're not walking away from that fight. So if that's something that you're used to doing as sort of a starting bell, then that's what you do. This is the fight of your life. Fine. Bring it on. There, there was a moment yeah. where I, I genuinely had a thought, and I think it was when did Renee... You? I did once, a long time ago. It was you really hard. You many. They're quite good. It was so difficult, and I said, never again. Um, no, while, we were, while we were watching this episode, and I want to say it's when Renee came back, and they mm -hmm. go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. Um, but he, he says something quippy, and then Tobias Church responds with something quippy, and then steps towards him, because they're going to fight. He steps off frame. And I went, I think I'd watch 40 minutes of Chad Coleman doing a one-liner and stepping out of frame to fight somebody. <laughs> this is where Wildcat was needed longer, because this would have been a great Wildcat villain. Can you imagine uh, oh, yeah. Tobias Church and Wildcat boxing? Yeah. Oh my god, Make I didn't that know Berlanti. I needed it. Dude, like let's let's just flashpoint Tobias Church and yeah. Wildcat back just so we can have them box each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with that. We we need another uh fight club video. Yes. No. With just those two in just... that triangular. Do you want me to start at the robot? No 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 no. I got this. We get we get just put some ropes in here, we got this. They could totally just be in that alien fight club like on Supergirl. Yes. So there we go. Tobias Church fighting aliens. I need that show. I mean, he'd get his ass kicked, but... But wouldn't it be amazing? I'd be down. Be watch. And he just keeps getting up with the knuckles and... Yes, I, CW, please. I think we're all gonna miss Church. He was one of the... For being a vanilla human, he was... <laughs> that's it. That's the trope. I think he's Humans, more of a chocolate human. Okay, <laughs> but it's people without powers in a powered world. Yes. Oliver also counts as a vanilla human with the exception of randomly having magic last season because I guess that's what we needed. Right. But for the most part, Oliver is a vanilla human. Most of the people on this show are. Right. And most of our villains recently have not been because sure. But for a vanilla human villain, which we haven't had, I can't get through that. Like, every <laughs> time, every time, because Oliver's more of a, he's more of a mint. <laughs> a mint. Yeah. he is. He's, he's like the mint swirl flavor. Of, of the leaf. I was gonna yeah. get yeah. Just, because he's Canadian in real life. But I'm just I'm saying that the trope the trope is vanilla human, yes. and we don't have many normal human villains anymore. Like we had Brick for three episodes two seasons ago. Sure, yeah. I liked this. And I absolutely would have gone for a whole season of Church being the villain because he was an actual, honest-to-goodness threat. Yeah. Yes. And the show seems to believe that, okay, the more super supernatural and mystical and whatever, the bigger the threat, not necessarily. Yeah, not yeah. necessarily. And although I'm certainly not opposed to them continuing to go in this direction on this show, because as, as has been made clear time and time again, the more comic booky these shows mm -hmm. get, yes. the, the more, better they get. The, the more, yeah, but also just the personally, the more sheer glee I experience watching them. <laughs> However, that's not always been where this particular show's greatest strengths lie. And so to see them do a little bit more of a stripped down back to basics villain up front, I was really excited by. Now, Prometheus doesn't necessarily seem magical, but we also don't know what his deal is yet. Right. Yeah, or she. Or um, or yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, because uh, Mar uh, Martian Madam says, I really want Prometheus to be a lady. Arrow never had a woman as a big bad, and that would just be kind of a WTF. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, would be great. I like that. The only bummer about Church leaving in general is that I feel like Prometheus is, uh, he's kind of like the Zoom to yes. Green Arrow. <laughs> God, yes. So, like, he he has a goal, or he or she uh, has hey. a, a goal it. that we are unaware of, and they it's very focused on our villain, and that's kind of their only motivation, which 
uh, I'm sure at some point they'll be like, well, I, I want to be the Green Arrow, and that's why I'm after Oliver, blah, 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 blah. Something like that, whatever their motivation is. But right now, they're just a mysterious person who is fixated on our our hero, yes. which is less intriguing than this guy who wanted to create an empire, and he was starting from the bottom, and through due to his charisma and his sheer force of will was able to combine uh, all of these different uh, groups. That's very true. I mean, we had a whole story for Church at this point. He did this, he did that. He's got not necessarily a pedigree, a record of... He's got five different crime syndicates in five different cities he's trying to bring together. This guy is motivated. Also, yeah. I loved the regular shout-outs that we get. We got them again to all of the D.C. cities that yeah. they, they name-dropped. And it was just, if it says Keystone, I'm like, Colorado? Did, mm-hmm. Why would you have a drug syndicate in Keystone, Colorado? Yep. That's where the Either. snow then, is, yeah. baby. Hey, oh, anyway. And then Hub yeah. City again. And then, but yeah. that's uh, Bloodhaven all, again. Yeah. Bloodhaven, definitely. Mm-hmm. But we got Nightwing, we got the question. We had a villain that we fleshed out in five episodes, and it's like, you're a full character and I'm interested. And alchemy is just kind of a, my villainy is pasted on, yay. You're another big, scary, masked guy with a voice changer that we know nothing about. I just called him alchemy. Mm. Yep. That, there, I've been doing I, that mentally all night. So there are I was, parts that's of the it problem. That is very similar. Yeah, and, I actually and, thought. And, yeah. Literally, the problem is that we have two. My villainy is pasted on yay villains at the same time and, with the same voice and, in shows that cross over, and I can't. What if they're both Katie Cassidy? <laughs> <laughs> because she's got a contract to be on all the shows, and that would be a huge. WTF moment. I will <laughs> laugh like crazy if it turns out that Prometheus is Jay Garrick. Jay Garrick. I better be all Jay Garrick. Mind, I'm Jay Garrick. I really wanted, um, you know, the human target to whip off a Jay Garrick mask. <laughs> <laughs> like, and both of them. Like, oh, I'm Teddy Sears. Oh, I'm John Wesley Shipp. <laughs> what do you got? Like, eight different masks under there? Why, yeah. yes, and they all move perfectly. What kind of devil technology mm-hmm. is this? I do yeah, really, though, no. now now that we're talking about all of what we're talking about at this moment, <laughs> um, I really would love, since these shows do cross over, I so badly want to see like a, like the diner scene from Heat, but done between yes. Prometheus and Dr. Alchemy. I think would be I amazing. I wouldn't be able to tell them apart! <laughs> Alchemy has a plague mask, and that's all I've got. Alchemy yeah. looks like a steampunk pelican. <laughs> it's a plague mask. It's a plague doctor mask. Yeah. Um, I, plague doctors wear some screwed up stuff, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, there was a moment when we had the church scene when he was pleading with, uh, not Alchemy. <laughs> Prometheus. Prometheus. <laughs> I'm, um, it's, it's contagious. Yeah. I'm sorry. And no, I'm not. I thought when he was like, yo, I'm gonna tell you who Oliver Queen or who the Green Arrow is. I wanted, I wanted Alchemy, I wanted Prometheus <laughs> to take off his mask and it be Oliver Queen, because that would explain why he's so fixated on the Green Arrow. Because then he's trying to take over his life. I think that would have been a really interesting turn, or at least that's where my brain went. Um, you right. wanted the villain to be Oliver Queen at the same time that the. Yes, like because we have alternate. Universe. Oh, yeah, so it could be like, like Earth, so right. like okay, Earth, Earth 2, Seven. Yeah, because yeah, Earth, Earth 2, Oliver is dead. Yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Earth 7 right. could huh. be Prometheus. Yeah. Or, or Alchemy. Or Alchemy. Or Prom Alchemy. Yes. Prom Alchemy. Amethyst. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry, but that, that that I think is the problem that we're starting to run into with these faceless, scary masked villains with voice changers is that they get interchangeable. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh my god. I actually would have loved someone picking up the Dark Archer costume because that's what I thought Prometheus was for like three episodes until they told us his name. Mm-hmm. His right. name. Mm-hmm. And being like, but Merlin's not in town. Who the heck is this? Just like yeah. someone picking up a discarded costume from a previous villain and using it and everyone being like, is this a legacy or are you stupid? Like, what's going on? It also looks a little bit like he photoshopped Green Arrow and Ragman's costumes together. <laughs> And made, which isn't even a complaint. It's more just an observation. I'm like, hey, you look a little bit like those other two guys. You know, yeah. their their wardrobe budget has been cut, so they're having to put together some old <laughs> costumes. Basically, I'm just kind of disappointed with alchemy. I feel it's Prometheus, <laughs> Prometheus. from alchemy. <laughs> from alchemy. I'm real tired, y'all. Um, I'm very I'm disappointed with Prometheus, obviously because I've superimposed alchemy over him in my brain. Sure. 
if we had kept church longer, even just mid-season, and developed Prometheus along with him, I feel like this finally killing church and saying, no, I'm the main villain now, it's me, would have been so much more interesting had it been drawn out more, right. had there been more to it. Because I'm just going to be angry like I was when Channel Coleman was killed off The Walking Dead. It's like, too soon. Too soon. Yeah. I guess what bugged me the most about that scene, though, was... For a guy that was almost able to pull off this this massive, like intensely orchestrated scheme, like dude does not seem to understand how leverage works. <laughs> he made the war I'll give you his name. Here's his name. We're good, right? Like why but, like mm. in, in what on what earth would he not kill you? Earth seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Earth seventeen is <laughs> yes. the one where Prometheus doesn't kill Tobias. He's like, Oh, we are cool. Thank you. That's very helpful. Goodbye. But what I like <laughs> is that this actually comes back around to something that Church told Renee at the beginning of the episode. Yes. That it's not the fe- that it's not the pain that gets you, it's the fear of pain. It's the anticipation. It's the not knowing or the knowing and not wanting to do it. And so we have that at the beginning, and then at the end, we have this scene of Church in the police convoy being taken to Iron Heights, just freaking out, because he knows what's coming for him. And it's the fear of pain, rather than the actual pain, that screwed him up. True, so if you I notice, can his see actual, that being an act of desperation. When well, his actual death, too, was pretty quick. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he didn't really suffer. He was a, gone. Yeah. But it was, it was that fear experience that I think was probably far worse in oh, the, yeah. in those moments. Parallelism. Sure. I, I I will give it parallelism even if it's a huge, huge blunder for someone like Church. <laughs> yeah, but that is People just... People do dumb stuff when they're scared. The arrow True. storytelling. Parallelism. Parallelism. Speaking mm. of which, let's talk about the Bratva for a bit. Yeah. 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 We had full-on Bratva initiation. Congratulations, Oliver. You're part of the family. Hooray. Not that other family. You have no other family. Just this one. And his mm-hmm. name is... I wrote down his name... And it made me laugh. What was it? Kapot. K-A-P-O-T. Because I'm like, his name is Kaput? Yes. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, we got that. And then we have one of the higher up muckety mucks in Bratva, Victor, who doesn't believe that Oliver should be among them and definitely hires people to murder him at his initiation party. Mm-hmm. Yay. By using a woman in a red dress as bait to get him outside? I mean, like, okay, so in Victor's defense, he's probably... Right? Oh, he's absolutely. Yeah. I mean, right. <laughs> I mean, when when bad stuffs are happening, Oliver Queen isn't really the guy you want to invite to hang out on the inside of your group. Yeah, disaster follows him. Yeah, and it's Anatoly is biased. Sure. Completely. Let's be real. So Victor might have had an outside view of things. But Anatoly definitely views Victor as a problem, and it'll be interesting to see if the rest of the Bratva does as well. He's that guy in the higher-ups where you can't really get rid of him, but, oh, you don't like working with him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I feel like everyone's had a few of those in their oh, lives. Oh, totally. Yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to think of fictional analogs, and there are so many that my server's just overloaded. We're rebooting. <laughs> mm-hmm. do, 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 a little blue do, screen do, there. Do, okay, do, yeah. Do, do, do. So was he talking about <laughs> Tyann's family that he ne- needed to talk to, or was it someone else? Yeah, it was Tyanna's, because uh, she, he he promised to, like, let them know that she died. That's and, right. You know, all that stuff. He was like, she has a family. Yeah, but her brother died on the island. You killed it. All the rest of her <laughs> the, family. All the, yeah, everybody else. Yeah, those people. That yeah. other family. Yeah. And I did love that Human Target showed up here as well, because yeah. Anna totally hired him. Yeah. Just sure. Like, dun, dun, dun. Parallel about the wazoo. I love it. I love it. It's ridiculous. I also love, too, that even if uh, Human Target, if Christopher Chance is not a regular supporting player, they can now have him show up literally any time they want to. <laughs> all they have to do a year from now, somebody pulls off their face. And, oh, yeah, I've been here all season. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they oh, do that dude, on General I... Hospital all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the mask off their face? For... Yeah, they're, they do have masks. They haven't brought it up in a while, but, you know. What I love for this is that pretending to be Oliver and it's like, oh, I got shot six times, I'm dying on the steps. You were wearing a bulletproof vest and a lot of squibs. Squibs, yeah. Yeah. And I just kind of love that entire idea and that no one noticed any of that under the silhouette of this finely cut suit jacket. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I'm, I'm just more surprised that he didn't get shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that was actually really terrible. Well, the sniper at least didn't want to mess up that masterpiece. But, For yeah. sure. Well, I don't know. He it works on his abs. I was like, <laughs> knockoff sports master or like yeah. Deathstroke off, but... Jr. or whatever yeah. was happening there I was I, I thought maybe it was sports yeah. master but I have I have yet to confirm this with myself right <laughs> so I'm not I'm not positive yeah, yeah. I don't know no one says they, anything they went the whole I hired a freak route and then didn't bother naming him yeah like Rinsler. even if he was only here Rinsler shut up <laughs> 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 too much talking for Rinsler um even if he was only here for half the episode, I still wanted a name. Yeah, I wanted to be to intrigued. Name. Well, I'm wondering if maybe this is not the last we'll see of him. He got shot, like, but, a lot. Yeah, but people die and come back in this universe all the time. At the very that's, least... Yeah, no one has ever really dead. At the very least, it's not. It's, that's certainly not the first time we've seen a variation on this. Uh, basically, I just want somebody that looks like Deathstroke around. All right, yeah. all right, all right. I admit you it. miss him. I do. You miss him. I do. He's still out there. He, he got away. Back. He'd come back one day. He'll show up in Legends <laughs> of Tomorrow and be like, "You miss me," and they'd all be like, "Who the hell?" Yeah. Oh, but the other thing that I thought was really cool, and it was a bit of a, I mean, it's it's a little bit of a, a cheat, I guess, but I liked it. Is that so? Part of Human Target's whole deal is I I embody my targets so fully that I learn the most intimate details of their life, and. I really enjoy that because it enables the writers to have uh, Oliver receive these pearls of wisdom from a dude he like just met a minute ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love that it was this dude who did the zoning thing and basically just <laughs> dropped the hammer on a councilman who was kind of being a jerk about it and convinced the uh, reporter that's been dogging him to lay off and got her number. So yeah. you're like, the, holy cow. I knew it couldn't really be Oliver because I really liked that guy. And, and I was just like so disappointed because I'm like, man, I really like Mayor Oliver. And then I was like, oh, wait, it was him the whole time? Damn, Ollie. Like, you just can't do anything right. I'm still hoping for Citizen Cold. <laughs> he will beat you. And I'm intrigued that we had Susan Williams in this and that it wasn't just a one-off thing that, no, she is a TV personality in this town and she does hit pieces, essentially. I w didn't recognize Carly Pope at first. Uh, I was like, that was her? She's changed so much since her popular days. So that was a funny show. But um, it was Ryan Murphy's first show, guys, oh. before you started going horror. That's why these bells are ringing in my head. Yeah. Mm. Got it, got it, got it. Got but it. yeah, I was like, how long until Oliver has sex with her? And I'm like, yeah, I thought it was going to be by the end of the episode. And then when <laughs> but, it turned but now, out to be the Human Target, it's like, oh. Yeah. So how long until Human Target has sex with her? In Oliver's body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like... There's, there's, whoa, there's a lot to unpack there. It's weird. Yeah. Um, that's I still not... think Oliver's going to hit it and quit it. But... <laughs> oh, jeez. The phone just... number, oh, go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, the phone number is a trap, though, right? Yeah, probably. Like, you don't give, like, you don't have this, this hit, like, hit uh, reporter give you her number. Like, she's going to be like, and he slept with me on the first day. Mm -hmm. yeah, what a jerk. Absolutely like, some form of manipulation. She clearly was going to vlog about it later. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I lost it. I love that we have her as a player here and that we have a media personality as a player. I don't remember the last time that the show did this, if they've ever done it. No, but it's I, interesting I, to play with that angle now. Yeah, I mean, over the course of the last, I think a little bit more over the last season or so, we've seen Channel 52 as a bit of a yeah. present, which yeah. is a great, a great yeah. nod the to the comics. 52. Um, and Channel 52 is also a feature that they'd have in the back of the comics, uh, in the back of the individual issues that would let you know, like, here's what's going on in the DC universe at large. Um, and that's been a bit of a, a presence, like a background presence throughout the last season or so of the show, but it is interesting to see now the, the press, or at least uh, uh, the press personified in the form of one person taking a more active role in the proceedings, because that's not, it makes total sense because he's now a politician. Mm -hmm. They yeah. would be looking into mm -hmm. him. Yeah. He's also the Green Arrow. You don't want the press looking into you. We, like, we, went, we jumped through so many hoops to convince everybody he wasn't the Green Arrow last time. You don't, you don't want this. This is bad. It's bad business. More wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what they're going to do, because in the comics, he's out as Green Arrow. He pulled a Tony Stark, and he... Am I remembering this correctly? Yeah. It depends yeah, on which version. Canon, yeah, yeah, it depends on which yeah. version you read, but yes. They've done it. Yes, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Mean, dear God, I don't even know anymore. Everyone resets everything so often. <laughs> Yeesh. 
in one timeline that is correct so that's all that matters right yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. it's a possibility here they could work towards it i to sort of want that at this point because we're five years into it um a lot of people already know he's oliver queen at this point it's just like bitch i'm iron man just do it <laughs> yeah just the I am Iron Man thing. Well, mm -hmm. that did, that worked a little better because Tony didn't really have a criminal record, no. and the uh, the Arrow has certainly shot a lot of people. Yeah, and Tony and also gone back to shooting people, kind of. Yeah, and Tony wasn't holding political office, which just throws a whole bunch of other complications into that that mix. Well, right. he's still better than Anthony Weiner, so I think we're safe. Oh. <laughs> you realize that bar Shots is fired. like underground, right? <laughs> uh, you've seen our political bar. It's all pretty well underground. That's why I was like, Oliver Queen makes a pretty good uh, politician there. <laughs> Guys, you're dating this show. <laughs> <laughs> the show itself is yeah. dating the show. God. Bum, bum, Let's be completely bum, real on that. Bum, and bum. she has someone who evidently does her digging for her and yeah. found a photo of him in the bar with the bratva. So oh. you don't even need to dig any further than that as long as you can prove that that photo is authentic because you don't need the mayor is the green arrow. In fact, the mayor ran with the Russian mob, I think would be substantially more damning. The green arrow has occasionally been known to do something heroic. Mm -hmm. if, if you think that yeah. being in the mob keeps me from being mayor, I'd love for you to go visit my hometown. <laughs> 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 that, that's a real yeah. <laughs> but this but this is comic book land and therefore everything is writ large indeed so we'll see yeah. i mean we'll see we'll see where that that thread continues to go but i i imagine that that that's not something anybody wants <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. i'll just be intrigued to see how the media angle plays out because i was surprised that it wasn't just the one oh well she was a jerk to thea and then thea won her over and then that 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 whatever I was surprised to see her as a recurring character. Yeah, I mean, I do feel that there is some sort of possible, at least, love story angle a little bit since Felicity's God, I got not. one. I mean, just because they're, like, pushing it. I'm like, eh, he's at least gonna have sex with her. But uh, Stormy Woods at Southern Siren on Twitter said, you know, yeah, it won't be long till he has sex with her. She is Isabel 2.0. Mora had Isabel's number, and Thea has this, which is... So, mm. like, yeah. Parallelism? <laughs> Not quite. Hashtag we'll parallelism? So here's the question. Did Christopher ever pass that number on to Oliver, or is he keeping it? That's true. <laughs> yeah. he, all he said was, I got the number. He yeah. didn't say, here, here it, it is. is. <laughs> we'll have they to put it see if phone. that comes out later on. Yeah. So I think the only thing we haven't really touched on is the bits with Felicity. Because yeah. her boyfriend has joined the ACU... And evidently, Felicity hadn't bothered telling Oliver, by the way, totally dating someone else. Not sure if it's real or not. Man. And we have this, I wouldn't be surprised if Felicity is still endgame in some capacity. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm willing to let it go at this point if it turns into this whole thing with Billy Malone is real. I really do love him. Like, I'm willing to be like, okay, I'm in for this new ship. Show me, show but they're not gonna do that. Billy's gonna either be corrupt or die. This show yeah. is not called Detective Malone. <laughs> no. No, no it isn't. And we had that nice little moment of we're always on the same page, we're supporting each other, and I'm like, you can do that non-romantically too. Show, please figure yourself out. <laughs> please do that. I think they're, I think they're getting there. I, I would love to see them just be friends for the rest of their lives. I wouldn't you know? mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down with hashtag Philly. Bill Billy. Felicity okay. and Billy. Oh. Bill Billicity? No. I was like, that's another Philly. Billy on a soap opera, and that's with Phyllis. Um, we already <laughs> co-opted that name. You guys can't have it. I'm All sorry. All right. Belicity Lily. Belicity Malone. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I still ship Felicity not? and Ray. You know, or you know, or Sydney Palmer. I would love for him to show up on the show and romance Felicity, because I think her and Brandon just had way more chemistry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And Sydney Palmer exists somewhere. Sydney and I Palmer mean, she had chemistry somewhere. with Barry as well. She's yeah, chemistry with like yeah, everyone. That's true. It's yeah, true. She really does. She's just plain adorable, guys. Yeah. She is. She's wonderful. And just, God, making so many jokes. This was such yeah. a good episode for her in terms of one liners. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get up. We're going full circle here. I cannot get over the plastic face. Yeah. Yeah. She just failed this city. It was just oh so funny because she did like the head thing too. The. <laughs> 
I need a gif of that, you guys. I'm sure someone has already made a gif at this point. Please just send me a gif of Felicity pretending to be Oliver with a rubber face. <laughs> I just, I need this in my life. And that's one of the weirdest things that I've ever said I've needed in my life, but there you go. It is sometimes life Not just throws you these curveballs. <laughs> it's true. And Oliver's rubber face. Oh, does Oliver's anyone... rubber face. Oliver's hashtag Oliver's, Oliver's rubber, rubber face. face. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna be my next shirt. I'm we still have Oliver gift. Queen is full of bees up there. <laughs> Oliver Queen is full of bees. Uh, that's still in my shirt shop. Yeah, do we have any final thoughts on this episode? Um so yeah, you know, one thing we didn't really hit is that obviously the comes as no surprise to anybody that Diggle has returned to the fold and has oh, gone God, back yes. out into yeah. the field yeah. as as Spartan. But that moment where uh, Artemis and Mr. Terrific are watching him and basically fawning over how awesome he is, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. and they're both He's in great. love with him, let's be real. I, I am in love with Dig because he really is so badass just it, like them. It made me really genuinely happy to see him back out there doing his thing. Yeah, And he's exactly what Rene needed in terms of, no, I've been through the same thing you have. We need to talk about this. We need to... They were the best people to have this conversation with each other. Mm -hmm. Dig was the absolute right person to reach out to him. Yeah. That was a good call on Oliver's part. And yeah. also, I like the sweet new helmet. Yes. It's yeah. great. That he can, like, press, like, beep. Yeah. yeah makes I love beeps. It doesn't do beep. anything. Just makes a nice beep sound. <laughs> beep. Yeah, because they're definitely like, yep, he is definitely Spartan, guys. Not the Guardian. We got him a new helmet. That's going to be on Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> totally, that's what we were going for the whole time. I didn't notice. Did the helmet go all the way around this time, or does it still have that really terrible T-strap in the back? I think it went all the way around. Yeah, I think it did. Hallelujah! Okay, it was an upgrade. It was a sure. full helmet. Sportsmaster's helmet did not go all the way. If it was sp Sportsmaster light. He was yes. not hockey enough. Sportscaster. <laughs> Intermural master. <laughs> Can that be Oliver's new thing? Like when he confronts a villain in an alleyway? You are not hockey enough. I <laughs> Are not paid to see enough. that. <laughs> and, and the guy's like, what? Before he yeah. stabs him in the leg with an arrow. <laughs> well, let's be real. Sportsmaster is just kind of darker Casey Jones. And this was definitely not... This was about as Casey Jones as out of the shadows Casey Jones. <laughs> let's be completely freaking yeah. real. I went there. I lived there. <laughs> I, <laughs> Turtles. Mm, didn't see it. Mm. Turtles. 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 Not out of spite, just didn't have the time. Oh, no. That as much yes. as I love Stephen Amell, that was really not Casey Jones. In that no. movie. I don't. I, uh, turtles. I don't know. No. <laughs> I like turtles. I, do you know? <laughs> so, turtles. I don't know. Yeah. You know, like a weird. We're getting way that back into Meme Town. Okay, that right. was. Yeah, I can't believe we didn't talk about that. I have it on the board and everything. So we're we're going on some journeys really, tonight, really, you guys. Yeah. Really yeah. went on some. I got stuck on Oliver's rubber face, and it just kind of <laughs> went from there. <laughs> I am. That's our new hashtag, Oliver's rubber face. I, I, yes. I, I was going to say I ship it, but that makes no sense. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, that's really, really weird. It really doesn't. I'm pretty sure that's a fetish. And do I mean the hashtag or the face? Maybe Time both. will tell. Yeah. Tune in the rest of this season okay. to find out. My pervy brain is on overload over so many comments. Like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> you realize that once this episode goes up, Twitter is just going to explode oh, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, boy. So like it hasn't come, already with the World yeah. Series results. Anyway. Comes one, guys. Yeah, they did. Do we have any final thoughts? Baseball spoilers. A mm -hmm. little bit. No. Well, this will go up tomorrow. By this time, the rioting will have yeah, already Yeah, everybody ended. already knows. That's, that's Glenn is dead. Terrifying yeah, spoilers. Wow. <laughs> TV spoilers, <laughs> even older comic spoilers. Yikes. Wow. Yeah, whatever okay. happened to Feral last? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey, it was the closest thing I could think of. A bit, as oh, a big, yeah. Man. Good lord. You should have seen it already. Before guys. we reveal Zoom's identity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we didn't reveal it over and over again. Oh, over and over, over and over, and over, over again. again. With the hand motions. Guys, you're dating this show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and eventually I will marry it. What? Oh. I'm pretty sure Mark's just like, peace out, guys. Oh, he left. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just left he us. Just what us are you guys go. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, time to test that theory. Uh, like, Carisha, where can the people find you? You guys can always find me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. And all over DC TV here at After Buzz. Uh, like Legends of Tomorrow, tomorrow, at the same time that this should have been streamed. 
<laughs> yeah. 10 p.m. I was like, I realized we are not live, so I'm like, that is a dumb thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird not being live. It's like, where are the people? <laughs> My computer's not keeping them to me. I know. Sorry. <laughs> And I'm Tari J. Miller. You can find me at Tari J. It's T-A-U-R-I-J-A-Y. Also all over the DC slate, Supergirl, Flash, this show, other stuff. Other stuff. Other stuff. Yep, <laughs> other stuff. I love other stuff. Yeah. It's great. I totally want to be on other stuff, the show. Yeah. Uh, I am Lex Michael all over social media, <laughs> at the Lex Michael. Like most of this table, I am all over the DC, CW, ABTV slate, Supergirl with this guy, <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow with this lady. We also do Ash vs. Evil Dead on Sundays, and we do Comic Book Exchange on Book Circle online. So so many places to come and nerd out with us. Please do. <laughs> you can follow Ali Kona on Twitter at boysandbeauty one You can also follow her new podcast, Hollywood ship? That is. Yes. yes. Aren't you, you should listen to that, that as well. I did. I just did yeah. one with her. Yeah. Now, and I am Katie Cullen. You can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and YouTube at KiaJ. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. You can also find me on Snapchat at Kia Prime. I think I'm the only person who hasn't been invited to the cool kids party. <laughs> what? I'm not on any other DC shows, you guys. But you can find me on Z Nation yeah. on Monday's Crunch Time. We have the season finale and two guests. That is 8 p.m. Monday night. You should come. Star Wars Rebels are on Tuesdays. Obviously, this is Wednesdays. Ruby premieres tomorrow. I will not be there. We have fill-ins. We are going to talk about things. It'll be great. But Ruby is every other Thursday at 7 p.m. On the Thursdays that we do not have Ruby, we have Robots in Disguise at 7 p.m. I do a lot of things, but this is the only comic show because it's great. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Hashtag Oliver's Rubber Face. The views expressed herein are those of the host only. They do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.